This segment is a video focused on how to set the neutral plane of a DC machine. Currently we have a machine right here in front of us. One of the problems we have or we see with students working through a variety of projects in their experiments with electricity workbook is that many of the labs require using a DC machine in conjunction with a square roll cage induction motor or a synchronous motor. And one of the number one things we can trace back as to why students are having a problem is that the brushes are improperly set on the DC machine. So the goal of this video is to go through what it takes to set the brushes on a DC machine. Specifically, we're going to reference Lab 25, setting the neutral plane of a direct current machine. So I have a DC machine right here in front of me and we're going to talk about the wiring but let's talk for a moment about the armature. We have a commutator and a set of brushes that are located on the armature that make contact with the external circuit. If these brushes are not properly set you're not going to get the proper speed of the machine or even the right horsepower. So it's really important that we do this. Now the procedure to do this is relatively simple. We need a power supply, an alternating current ampmeter, and an AC ampmeter. Now I said that correctly. An AC power supply, AC ampmeter, AC voltmeter. Even though this is a direct current machine, we're going to be using alternating current to make these adjustments. So in this procedure, we are going to be using the AC portion of this power supply, specifically the variable voltage output, uh, which is adjusted here with the control knob. We will be using terminals 4 and neutral. So we are going to be using 120 volts for this procedure. Step 1 will be to connect the armature, which is terminals 1 and 2, directly from the power supply to the amp meter. From the amp meter to terminal 1 of your DC machine and then to complete the circuit terminal 2 goes back to neutral on the power supply. As well the shunt field which is labeled terminals 5 and 6 get hooked up to the voltmeter up here. So we're going to use voltage and we're going to monitor voltage and current in order to make these adjustments. Step one, we're going to activate the power supply and I am going to steadily increase the variable output voltage while monitoring the display on the amp meter. According to our procedure, we want to add enough voltage that I see 0.5 amps of current on the amp meter. So steadily increasing and that looks to be about 0.5 amps. Now looking at the voltmeter, I'm on the 125 volt terminal. I've got about 110 volts. Now according to the procedure, what we want to do is I want to set the brushes to the neutral plane. So when the brushes are set up and uh, the position is optimum, I should see very, very little voltage. So I'm going to open up the, the window so we can see the adjustment. Bear in mind that right now we have voltage and we have current flowing through here. So these terminals are energized. Students do have the right to ask for uh, the proper PPE. We do have voltage rated gloves here in the lab in 1819. Part of the procedure now is to make the adjustment on this yoke. So this handle, what we're going to do is we're going to make the adjustment to the brush placement on the armature while observing the voltmeter. As I make these adjustments, I'm going to be adjusting the yoke right here on the machine. While I'm doing that, I'm going to be observing the voltmeter display. The goal here is to place the brushes where I see the least amount of voltage. That's what our goal is. So as I'm adjusting the yoke, I'm placing the brushes. 
and I can observe that the voltage is steadily decreasing in value. Now, you want to do this slowly and steadily. What I'm looking for is the least amount of voltage. So right there. Now, if I continue pushing on the yoke, what we should see is I will have gone past the neutral plane and I will start to see more induced voltage. And sure enough, there we have it. So I'm going to return the yoke and try and find that zero value or close to it. So there you have it. I've got the minimal amount of voltage that's going to be seen here at the brushes and I've seen that the current increased. Now this may seem counterintuitive but remember that when we see arcing and sparking at the brushes it's because that the brushes are not properly placed on the armature and it's due to an excess of voltage. We want to see optimum current flow and by not placing the brushes properly what we'll see is that the current flow is going to go down but my voltage goes up and that is going to restrict the speed of the machine or its ability to produce voltage. Again, this is a machine. Under the right circumstances, it could be a motor or we can uh, wire it up and we can actually make this an alternator or a generator for DC power. Now this video will be available to students on their Moodle page as well as accessible via a QR code.